Hello and welcome to a new episode on the 1000 Curiosities channel. Today's video is about the platypus. The platypus, together with the echidna, are the only mammals that lay eggs instead of giving birth to live babies. When scientists first saw platypus, they were baffled by it. This animal was a life paradox full of contradictions which completely overturned what they knew until that moment. British scientists examined the first platypus in 1799 and they judged it to be a fake made of several animals sewn together. The platypus, whose name means flat feet, has a reproductive system that is very much like that of a bird, but it also has mammal glands. It has a beak just like a duck, a tail like a beaver, and the feet of an otter. Although it is a mammal, and so it should give birth to live babies to breed, it is the only such animal to lay eggs. It is as big as a domestic cat and only lives in eastern Australia and Tasmania, in isolated places near lakes or rivers, building layers among rocks or tree roots. Another controversy that the early scientists found was that the platypus has a skeleton that is characteristic to a cold blood reptile, yet it has warm blood. Its scientific name is Ornithorhynchus anatinus. Males measure between 45 and 65 centimeters and weigh between 1 and 3 kilograms, that is between 2 and 6 pounds. Females are a little smaller. The soft and elastic beak of the platypus is very complex, having over 700,000 tactile and electric receptors. At the bottom of the river, the platypus can sense the smallest electrical fields created by the muscular contractions of its prey. This system is called electrolocation. Its beak is its main connection to the world, as its ears, eyes and nose are hermetically closed. It is 10 to 15 centimeters wide and very flexible. The platypus does not have an external ear, but has a very sensitive hearing sense. It has a soft brown coat with thicker hairs on the back and softer on the abdomen. The male has its back legs fitted with two spur-shaped ankles connected through some channels with two venom-secreting glands. If in danger, it pushes hard both its spurs into the attacker and shortly after, its victim suffers terrible pain and the place becomes inflamed. Its venom is powerful enough to kill small animals. Even though it is not lethal for humans, the wound caused by its sting can cause terrible pain which can last for several days. The platypus reproduces after a short period of hibernation. The female digs a 60 cm hole in order to lay 2 to 3 eggs measuring 1.5 cm in diameter each. Incubation lasts for 10 days, the female keeping the eggs near its abdomen. The hatching is ensured by a tooth found at the tip of the baby's beak which later on disappears. At birth, the babies don't measure more than 13 mm in length, are blind for 11 weeks and feed by licking the milk from their mother's abdomen. Nowadays, hunting and exporting a platypus are forbidden by law. The platypus digs galleries of over 6 meters in length, which open up into spacious rooms filled with dried plants. Its intelligence is remarkable building its lair at such an inclination that it cannot be flooded. The platypus even digs spare exits for the case when it would get attacked. Among its enemies are the snakes, eagles and owls, but also the Australian crocodiles and red foxes. The platypus spends over 12 hours a day in the water, searching for food. It is very fast in the water, being able to reach speeds of 35 km an hour. 
It is an omnivorous animal, preferring crustaceans, worms, insects and aquatic plants. It moves through the water with ease, using its anterior limbs for thrust, the posterior limbs for equilibrium and its tail as a steer. When it is in the water and it lacks oxygen, a platypus can reduce its heartbeats from 200 beats per minute to less than 10. In the wild, a platypus lives around 12 years, while in captivity, its life expectancy can reach 17 years. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed, now would be a good time to do it. My name is Christian, and until the next video, all the best.